This is the Jagasit Podcast. The point that the video was making is that second lifing is a technique that many humans have practiced for centuries, where essentially if you have par parts of your personality that you do not like and cannot find a way to reconcile with, what you do is you invent the personality you want to have and you emulate those traits. By emulating the traits, it helps you assess the traits that you can't fix. It's usually created by creative people. And actually there's quite a few famous people that have uh, tulpas. You have uh, Beyonce, Sasha Fierce. Yeah, people Beyonce, think Beyonce Sa yeah, go, go People ahead. think Sasha Fierce is just a nickname. No, if you hear Beyonce talk, on talk shows or doing videos or whatever, she's not the same woman you see on stage tearing it up. And that's not because she has a stage presence. She she talks about this. It, there, there's She's talked about this. Yeah, she's spoken about this it This is a, a tulpa. <laughs> Nicki Minaj has several. She has Roman and Roman's entire family. And Roman is mentally fucking crazy. I'm going to just look. As you, talk, as you speak about these people, I'm just going to look them up. Another noticeable one is uh, Lil Dicky. He has brain. You misspelled her name like trap, like a travesty, but it's fine. Yeah, she has the uh, the song Roman Holiday. That's about Roman, her tulpa. Right. Let me, hold on. Um. Okay. The first reference to Roman was a passing mention on Twitter. Minaj simply stated that she had officially changed her name as and she, she would, would only, only respond, respond to, to Roman Zelansky. Okay. Roman Zelansky. It sounds like Roman one, Polanski. L Roman Zelansky is one of Nicki Minaj's alter egos. He is Minaj's most well-known and utilized alter ego, as well as her self-possessed professed favorite. Zelansky is described as a homosexual male from London, England, characterized as being far more outspoken and perhaps malicious than Minaj herself. Yeah, he's a little, he's a little aggressive. His first appearance in the song was in Bottoms Up, a song with Trey songs. Roman was declared dead by Minaj herself on February 2014. However, five months later, Nikki held a Q&A on Twitter and said that she will rap as Roman again when a fan asked her. Um, I wonder if Lady Gaga's um, Joe Calderon is considered as a tulpa. Because oh, that's she, a good one. All right, Joe Calderon. I don't know. If she, I don't think Gaga's ever said because Gaga takes her own forms. But um, uh, let's just look it up. Joe Calderon. Uh yeah, that is one of that is Lady Gaga's male alter ego. Okay. Uh, as first appeared in the song "You and I." Here we go. So Joe Calderon is a fictional male alter ego to Lady Gaga, created in 2010 for the song "You and I." It was in the music video. Beginning as an invention of my mind, Joe Calderon was created with Nick Knight as a mischievous experiment. After working together tirelessly and passionately for years, eating, eating bovine, bovine hearts. hearts, throwing up on ourselves, giving birth to an alien nation and an AK-47, Nick and I began <laughs> to work. To, to wonder how much can we get away with how can we remodel the model in a culture that attempts to quant to quantify beauty with a visual paradigm and almost mathematical standard how can we fuck with the malleable minds of onlookers and shift the world's perspective on what is beautiful i asked myself this question and the answer drag i don't know if gaga did joe calderon as an altar or as a tulpa but it or maybe she's just an incredible actress but when she is joe calderon he, and again, he could just be a drag alter ego, but he, there's a totally different persona. There's a totally, there's a cocky James Dean vibe that isn't there when Gaga is just Gaga. But jo Gaga herself feels like almost like a, an alter ego, almost like a tulpa, because there's Stephanie Germanata, then there's Gaga. I think Joe Calderon, because the thing is with tulpas, remember, these are thought forms that help you assess your mind yeah. so a lot of them have a little bit more or less utility than others i don't think joe calderon had the same kind of utility that sasha fierce does sasha yeah. fierce is a character designed specifically to help beyonce address her stage fright yeah beyonce joe, talked about that joe calderon is a counterculture character that was uh, that was designed to help See, lady, sometimes you can't tell them yeah it was designed according to this it was designed to help lady gaga break down some cultural conventions in the entertainment industry well, she did a great job by the way but i was wondering i didn't yeah. know if joe calderon was just that, a performance alter ego or if he was a tulpa i would i would count him as a tulpa i think he just has more more brand more uh variety of purpose i mean and maybe he's developed more in gaga's mind since that has that was 10 years ago right but yeah yeah so i we hope got, we get to see joe, joe calderon again hint hint i, I want to go back to roman, roman and really his whole quick, family because roman roman zelansky is a very fascinating tulpa and i'm i'm not the biggest Nicki minaj you can find us on google and all social media at jugasit podcast new episodes release every monday and friday